Uh, Donald, it's good to be with you. All of these countries all over the world, especially China, they're the, the best, the best ever at it. Now, in all fairness to uh, Secretary Clinton, yes, said okay, good. I want you to be very happy. You have but no plan. Educate. Oh, I do. Secretary, fact, you I've have no plan. A book about it. It's called Stronger Together. You yeah. can pick it up That's tomorrow. That's about all you. Folks, we're gonna you are going to approve one of the biggest tax increases in history. My tax cut is the biggest since Ronald Reagan. I'm very proud of it. But I'm going to cut taxes big league, and you're going to raise taxes big league. End of story. If you want to see in real time uh, what the facts are, please go and take a look. Because and take I a look at mine also. Just go to her website. She tells you how to fight ISIS on her website. I don't think General Douglas MacArthur would like that right, too the much. Next, the next... The next segment, we're continuing well, the subject of... Well, at least I have a plan to fight ISIS. Prosperity. No, no, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no, telling the not. enemy everything we you are, want to do. Folks, no wonder you've fighting. been fighting... No wonder you've been fighting ISIS folks. your entire adult life. I, I have a feeling that by the end of this evening, I'm going to be blamed for everything that's ever happened. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Learn tax minutes. benefit for your family. And when you look at what how you much, are proposing, how much for my family? it is, Lester, as much? I said, trumped up, trickle down. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. As soon as she releases them, I will release, I will release my tax returns. And they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid, I made a mistake using a private email. That's for sure. Um, and that was more than a mistake. That was done purposely. Okay, that was not a mistake. That was done purposely. When you have your staff taking the Fifth Amendment, taking the Fifth so they're not prosecuted. When you have the man that set up the illegal server taking the Fifth, I think it's disgraceful. And believe me, this country thinks it's disgraceful, it really thinks it's disgraceful also. As far as my tax returns, you don't learn that much from tax returns, that I can tell you. You learn a lot from financial disclosure. And you should go down and take a look at that. China, you see these incredible airports. And we don't have the money because it's been squandered on so many of your ideas. But you and maybe and we'll because you haven't paid any federal income tax for a lot of years. And the other thing I think is important... It would be squandered too, believe me. Uh, you decided to stay home, and that's okay. I think Donald just criticized me for preparing for this debate. And yes, I did. And you know what else I prepared for? I prepared to be president, and I think that's a good thing. <laughs> Donald supported the invasion of Iraq. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. He actually I have much better judgment than she does. There's no question about that. I also have a much better temperament than she has. Secretary Clinton. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Let's, um, let, let's uh, talk about two... Uh, she doesn't have the look, she doesn't have the stamina. I said she doesn't have the stamina. And I don't believe she does have the stamina. Respond. Well, as soon as he travels to 112 countries and negotiates a peace deal, a ceasefire, a release of dissidents, an opening of new... Uh, opportunities in nations around the world, or even spends 11 hours testifying in front of uh, a congressional committee, he can talk to me about stamina. The world, <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, Hillary has experience, but it's bad experience. We have made so many bad deals during the last, uh, so she's got experience, that I agree, but it's bad, bad experience. Somebody who's been very vicious to me, Rosie O'Donnell, I said very tough things to her, and I think everybody would agree that she deserves it, and nobody feels sorry for her. You called what you said locker room banter. You described kissing women without consent, grabbing their genitals. That is sexual assault. You bragged that you have sexually assaulted women. Do you understand that? No, I didn't say that at all. I don't think you understood what was said. This was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I apologize to my family. I apologize to the American people. Certainly, I'm not proud of it. But this is locker room talk. And yes, I'm very embarrassed by it. I hate it. But it's locker room talk. And it's one of those things. I will 
knock the hell out of ISIS. If you look at uh, Bill Clinton, far worse, minor words, and his was action. His was what he's done to women. There's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women and attacked them viciously, four of them here tonight. I think it's disgraceful and I think she should be ashamed of herself if you want to know the truth. Can we please hold the applause? When I hear something like that, I am reminded of what my friend Michelle Obama advised us all. When they go low, you go high. If I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception. There has never been anything like it. I'm going to let, let you just talk about it now because everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not oh, surprised. Really? You know, it is uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. So let me talk about my 30 years in public service. I'm very glad to do so. I want to ask you here on the stage tonight, do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election. I will look at it at the time. I'm not looking at anything now. I'll look at it at the time. Are you saying you're not prepared now to commit to that principle? What I'm saying is that I will tell you at the time. I'll keep you in suspense. If she wins, I will absolutely support her. All right. My Social Security payroll contribution will go up, as will Donald's, assuming he can't figure out how to get out of it. Uh, but what we want to do is to replenish the Social Such a Security nasty Trust. Woman.